Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. With the season winding down, I know many of you are working on achievements that will be vaulted after the season. In my case, one of the things I'm working on is the Reckoner Seal, which requires you to play way too much Gambit. I mean, seriously, I like Gambit, but this is a little bit too much. Within the Reckoner Seal, one of the most difficult triumphs to get is the Triumph Reaper. And here's the reason why. It's primarily because you have to get 10 Massacre Medals. In this video, I will go over a build that makes this super, super easy. And again, as you watch this video, if it provides value, feel free to like the video and subscribe to my channel. That really helps me out. So first off, how do you get Massacre Medals? Well, that's a good question. Massacre Medals require you to gale 12 enemies in a row within three seconds of each other. Now, obviously, you can do that all at once, but one of the challenges with doing that is depending on how you're doing that, if you try to kill a bunch all at once in one area and then you have to take a little time to get to another area of the map, you might run out of enemies. So really, it helps you with this, again, unless you have a bunch of enemies clumped up, which again, you have some, but not normally 12. It's normally good to space it out a little bit, so you basically kill an enemy, kind of slowly work your way, because that allows you to slowly work either left or right on the map to get to the other enemies you need to kill. The downside of this, obviously, is while you're doing this, you have, if you don't have a dedicated fire team, you're going to have some people actually going in and killing ads with you, and so it may be difficult for you to get the required amount. So thus, that's why we're talking about the build. To actually get the seal done, you have to have an actual active Reaper glow going on while you're doing this. You don't necessarily need a full set of, th of tier 3 armor to get the goal. You can have most of the pieces and then you can use a synth to kind of get you over the hump. And that's what you might want to do if you're putting on an exotic or something else. And that synth will last for 30 seconds, which is a couple, two to three matches depending. So you'll keep that in mind as you're, as you're planning out getting these medals. So let's talk about the build in a little bit more detail. First off, this build will center on the unique melee-based powers of Liar's Handshake and Top Tree Arc Strider. I've talked about that in a few videos, but let's talk about the tweaks you need to kind of make this perfectly tuned for Gambit. Top Tree Arc Strider has the perk Combination Blow, which allows your melee to do more damage when you get kills with your melee. Combined with Gambler's Dodge, which allows you to get your melee back quicker, again, after you dodge, it will allow you over time to build this to 3x, which again, increases the amount of damage that you do with that melee for a period of time. Now add to this Liar's Handshake, which has a unique ability cross counter, which allows you to get additional damage added to melee kills and health regeneration, which again will allow you to stay in the fight longer because in Gambit, typically when you're doing this, you're gonna be in close range. You're gonna have a lot of enemies around you which can potentially kill you. So that will help you a lot longer too. To finish off in this build, add in hands on which allows you to get super regeneration on melee kills. You can kind of see where I'm going on this and where it builds up on top of each other. Now, let's take an average build, where I've added in some intellect mods to help with super regeneration. For this base build, it's going to take about 4 minutes and 18 seconds to get your super back. You could tell with a sped up video, you could just tell how long that takes. By using the mods and dodging constantly around enemies and then meleeing them, I'm able to get my super back in a little over 90 seconds without killing a single enemy with a weapon or grenade. Wait, did you miss that? Here, let me show you again. Again, at the same speed as I sped up the previous, you can see how much faster that is. And you can also tell, again, that allows you to keep your weapons and your grenades and your other abilities to the side to get additional kills if you need to. All these kills are being done just with melee because it builds on getting that super regenerated. The other great thing about this build is that sometimes you only have to rely on your super ability. Since you could do the melee ability so quickly and it does so much damage, you can actually, I actually had some massacres that actually happened just from going in and doing melees without getting the super. So again, that could help you. But again, as I said earlier, if you don't have a reliable fire team, this is where this comes in really handy. What I would do is I would try to get your, your super saved up you know, in Prime, as you're going through Prime, you're going to get multiple waves of ads coming in. If you're lucky, you could get your uh, super charged up for the second wave. More likely, it's the third. So what I would do is help your team out, do what you can. As the second wave is kind of getting towards the end, try to get in a position to be really close to where the third wave is. Then go in, normally where one of the doors are, where the ads come out, uh, drop a grenade, do your super... Do it slowly over time so you can get the, the kills that you need. And then finish that off with any additional melee 
or gun kills that you can get and you should easily be able to get those really hard to get 12 ad kills within gambit so again guys that's the video pretty simple build pretty simple approach again this is something that i struggled with for a while but once i got this going i was able to get through some of the massacre uh, medals pretty quickly um, it will take some you know, trial and error. Obviously, getting a fire team is going to be your best method, but it is something that's pretty achievable. So that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to like the video and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. You know, obviously, we're filling in the dead spots between now and when the uh, next DLC comes down. So again, if you have ideas for videos, things you'd like to see, feel free to pop in the community. Let's talk about it. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you, Guardians, in the Tower.